<laughs> There's a tiny hole here. Uh, a hole? That wasn't in the report. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Uh, gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Bazinga! Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that this is a bullet hole. Hole for a bullet. Bullet hole, if you will. They order, you. order, order. This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Excellent. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. Is she, is she actually smiling? This fucking what? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Now that hole is gonna fucking unravel this whole argument you've got, ho. Cause now I've got it. Continue with your testimony. That, just now, was a fluke. Nothing more. Objection! Why are you lying? How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree, it's a mistake on the part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way! Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Now I can... I... present... Yes. Okay. Because now it is updated and means something more. Yeah. Psh, Detective Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. <laughs> you said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I sure did do that. Thing. And what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you, you police overlooked supposed to mean? Um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. When you nod your it head, it means that the yes. victim had fired off a shot. But you want to say no. What does it mean? Is that what it means to not fight back? <laughs> you're right. It seems you're correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. All right, the wind seems to be shifting. Huh. What is with that are you finished yet laugh? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wow, I'm a psychic. Miss Von Karma? It seems that my affair was shot at by the victim. However, that's only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Why, that's right! <laughs> Which means, the defense has yet to prove anything at all. Ah, fuck. Well, yes, that is true. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. It's just the fact that there's a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. How so? Don't just stand there. Oh, jeez. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired added in, of course. This... Ho wants to fucking, like, just lay it. Okay, she had I'm, gonna, I'm gonna feed you this, and you're gonna contradict it. Well, here's some more stuff. Why didn't you start with the whole thing? Well, no, she wanted you to... She wants you to fail, but she doesn't want, like, to be the reason you fail. She wants you to be the reason you fail. All right. What transpired? During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up the opening, uh, picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. This scenario you've put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright? On the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, if you please. Yeah, we've got some mud to wade through. Yeah, we do have some mud to wade through. What transpired? Okay, he's the last of his strength. 
I think that's the contradictions here, because they said in the autopsy report... They no. sure didn't. No, they didn't. Wow, fuck me, I guess. Uh, I guess we're gonna start from the top and press. Tell me more! Is that a pencil or is that bento? Alright. There's quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in body strength and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah I guess. You think you can get away from such flimsy reasoning? Mr. Phoenix Wright, Maya Fey was in the middle of channeling, was she not? Hmm? When channeling with the crane channeling technique. The medium physically changes. With the nurse's bill, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it. She even studied up on the Korean channeling technique. Boom! Like I said before, I am perfect. Um, about what you were talking about, I didn't quite get it. Never mind, let's continue with the testimony. This is like the most serious I've seen Phoenix. Uh, well, he gets real serious when it comes down to helping Maya. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about it, the blood loss, he was probably hurt pretty bad. How badly hurt would you say he was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day, and afterwards <laughs> I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness? You will refrain. Sorry. Oh, the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. Alright. Where in the world did that pistol come from? The same place Carmen San Diego is. It looks like that victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically bought it that day. But a handgun? He got it <laughs> off the black market about two days before the murder. What as the a fuck? As opposed to just busting out an AR-15. Yeah, he didn't have the designated waiting period. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Was he taking precautions against something? The victim took a shot because they were too close he missed. So you're saying that the bull hole in this costume was made then? Sorry pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. The defendant then picked up the opening and picked up the- okay, alright, let's Sure did. But did he? Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you could fire it, just by pulling the trigger. Even me? I wonder. I should go to the shooting range. We should go to the shooting range. I keep telling you we should go shooting, but I don't have a gun. Avon Karma's logic is perfect. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad. It's toast. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to be... Going to uncover the truth. Alright. What are your thoughts? Because we have ran through. Ooh. 35. Yep, she's only 18. <sighs> Even an amateur. Uh, two shots, spares my head. Uh, minus fingerprints, stabbed, and shot point blank. Ooh la la! Uh, I, I want, that's gotta come into effect from somewhere, I just don't know at what point. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Where was the one that, pre like, when I pressed and talked about a contradiction? Um, uh, uh... That's a good question. Try, um... Try that one. That seems like it has the most potential. So you're saying, oh... Yeah, that's what I think. The two of them are fighting. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, that, this is it. Are you sure? Yeah.
If they were standing when they fought, or whatever, if their build had gone up, then that bullet hole would be higher. It's only eight inches off the ground. Uh, well, that's a little... I, I guess if you assume they're both standing. No, even sitting. If her build raised up, it won't know. I mean, hey, I'm just letting you know the fullness of your thought process. Don't let me stop you from doing what feels right. But, I want you to understand why it could be wrong. Yeah, I'm just, I'm I, not, have, I have no idea which one it is. No free rides. No free rides. Fuck off. Your Honor, Mortis. <laughs> Your Honor, League of Legends. Mortis. Dude, have you not seen that name? I have no idea what the fuck you just said to me. Alright, hold on. Objection denied. Fuck off! Think before you make your accusations. Whoops, that didn't go well. Uh, too close they missed. I think it's here. Wait a minute. What? I think it is this statement. Is it? Yes. I now have infinite clairvoyance! Alright, I'm gonna need some help or I'm gonna flunk out here. Okay, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm... Gotcha. It's not his autopsy report, but look at the autopsy report. What about it? Stabbed in the chest and shot at point blank. How could he have missed? Now again, it's not the autopsy report, but the autopsy report should give you information as to what's up. He's got to do some linear thinking. He was stabbed in the chest and uh -huh. shot point blank? Yeah. Um. Bang. She would have had to take him the gun from... She stabbed him and then... He fired a shot... But she would have had to, like, grab the gun and then gotten on top of him? Or, like, over him? No, okay. You're thinking a little too macro. Okay, I, I don't know what you're trying to point me at here, because I'm The not... fullness of the autopsy report. Look at the whole report. Gunpowder residue around the bullet hole, stabbed in the chest and shot point blank. Yep. Gunpowder residue around the hole. Yep. So she would have had to... Like that, right? Well, not necessarily. But, I don't know what you're trying to point me at. I don't want to just give you the answers, because... Uh, okay. But, at the same time, I'm just... Look, I'm just confused, we're running out of... Like, we're, this episode's going long. This episode is going point. long. Um, okay, uh... Any evidence that you can check, I would check. If it makes sense. How could it be shot her if she was stabbing him? Like, how could he have shot her? Is it the costume? Is it the costume? Fuck it. There it is. Alright. Okay. Now Phoenix will explain. <laughs> Alright. Please. Missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. Eh? What do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting the vic when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where would the where's the gunpowder burn on this costume? If he suffered a gunpowder burn, why wouldn't she? God damn it, you're right. Gunpowder burn. This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh! But there's not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. Oh, well, would you look at that? Linear thinking is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Mm. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. 
Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How's that? As if that was even possible. According to the testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push to the very, very far after that. <laughs> well, then... That's right! The defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then, while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should satisfy even you. Hmm. Well, it does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think. S well, it can't make sense because I'm the protagonist and I must be right. There's a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Flaw? Oh, very interesting. I'd love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in our explanation somewhere. This is where the... When she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. Wait, what? I mean, that's where the bullet hole he shot went. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's the question? When he took, when she was about to take her strike, that's when he took a shot. Yeah. Then it's the fucking costume again. It is? How could he have missed her and shot at the, the... How could he have hit the fucking sleeve like that if she was going to stab him? This, would have, been, this him. would have been after the stab, according to Von Karma's logic. Okay. All gunshots happen after the stab. Then it would be this, then, I think. What? Because that... If they okay, if they have begun an altercation and are fighting, they are on their feet. The bullet at, hole, at least one of them's on their feet. The bullet hole should be more than eight feet, inches off the ground. If the one that was firing was uh, on the floor, I well, actually, I guess they'd be angled up. Yeah, and if you were above, you'd be angling down. But it would it would. Just, probably hit the floor before it would have gotten there. Perhaps depending on where you are. Ah, uh, I think I gotta hit this. I, I can't think of anything else that I would do. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Fuck you. The I'm not gonna give you the answer. Well, don't, don't fucking fight me on when I have it. I, I need to plug us. I want to make sure that you are 100% confident in everything that you're doing. Oh. So I will present you the opposite effect to your evidence. What's up? Are you guys recording? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't want to bother you then. Sorry. Okay. Has Bishop been on the walk recently? No, I've not. Sorry. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and we're back. And we're back. Sorry about that. All right. This piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? I would like to point to the court's, uh, court's attention that the hole is in this falling screen. <laughs> oh. It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who? Where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please! Are these two really that clueless? The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, and then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When she when the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was getting was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. But why though? Order, order. I think we're gonna end up. I don't. How much do you know? How much time's left in this segment? Or we we haven't had our pursuit yet, so we're still. We are wrapping up our interactions with Gumshoe, and I think that will be a good yeah, okay. tail end. Okay. This changes everything. Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot, and the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location, about eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Like here, I think. I don't know how finicky it is. Oh. No, sir. Uh-oh. I just realized I forgot to brush my teeth this morning. I wonder you think things were dead, Mr. Wright. Fuck me. He was right in front of her, wasn't he? Was he? I, I don't remember the original diagram. 
I guess I just have to draw a line here. I'm like, so she's like here? Or was she here? Was she in the center of the room? Um. Hmm. How do I? What makes you assume that they are close together? Because that was the original diagram, wasn't it? Uh, that's around the time of the start of the channeling. Yes. Then, then I have no idea where the fuck she'd be. Right. So. They haven't given me any movement details. So I can only confer that she's somewhere between this fucking hole and him. If I remember this part of the game correctly... Hmm. I forget when that piece gets confirmed, but... I'm gonna say... that you're a little cold. I'm cold? Yes. And in your current predicament, you are warming up. But I don't want to give too much more is she, away. Is she, what, like here? Uh, I believe Phoenix at this point is under the impression that no more words will be said because I don't want to spoil anything. I, dude, I literally have no fucking, like, I can't, I'm like soft locked here. I'm either going to just play fucking <laughs> pick a dick, pick a dick until I fucking eat shit. Would you like a golden help in which I yeah. give you the answer? Just give me an- is it- okay. It just- alright, I gotta- He shot and hit her wrist cloak, and it went through here. Uh -huh. So the trajectory of the bullet has to be somewhere between here and here, right? Like, this is the trajectory of the bullet, right? That is a correct line of thinking. So then, she is somewhere on a line here, then. Between him and there, right? That makes sense to me. All right. Is she here? No. Is she closer to him? No. She's further away then? Yes. Why would she be here? She's... I'm pretty sure she's not there. Is she, like, here? Is she here? She's, like, behind the screen? Is he like, oh, fuck, there's someone behind the screen? That snake don't look right? <laughs> okay. Because I genuinely don't remember when a piece of testimony gets confirmed, I will say that the last two questions you asked have the potential to be correct. So it's... Here, okay. Behind the folding screen? The victim and his attacker were fighting, were they not? Then why would the attacker be doing all the way back there? Uh... Besides which, if the attacker was behind the folding screen, how could the victim know where to shoot? It's obviously impossible. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Mr. Wright! Why the fuck would I take damage? Because you were wrong. Why would it stop? I don't know. Closer to the screen. Like here? Uh, that's probably a little... Uh, uh, clo yeah. Wait a second. We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole, but how can you gauge the distance from that? Isn't it possible the defendant was standing much closer? That's impossible. Because fuck what you. What a fucking pick a dick bullshit. Hey, she could have been anywhere on that fucking. Oh, I guess technically. But that's not a scale, so I couldn't know how close 12 inches was. If she was shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns present. To 20 how inches. Yeah. There is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole in his costume. Ah! Guess you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You. Mm. I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. But, do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It changes everything. It has to. Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen? Exactly. If Maya Faye was the real murderer... 
why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing a strike? Uh, upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured that had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. <sighs> Alright, with this, the rest of the trial should be in the butt. <laughs> that fucking finger waggle. Blast radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. You amuse me. Uh, of all the things to inherit, why did it have to be that smarmy smile? Are we about to get to a safe point? Uh, maybe not a safe point, but we're about to be done with Gumshoe. Okay. Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic? Jesus fuck. How is, the, how is this all my fault? You start by repairing your standing by removing your three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured your punishment will come later. The punishment? Well, I, how do you sound like uh, uh, Punishment? Uh, uh. Well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Alright, next time in the kitchen, we'll be dealing with the next witness. Absolutely we will. Get some water, because uh, Gumshoe over here being thirsty, she over here being salty. You know, like, we gotta get this ready to be on the fucking books. We're gonna fucking throw down... It's going to be a hoedown. Showdown time! Showdown time. Catch you guys next time. <laughs>